In music, a triad is a three-note chord made of two intervals, thirds to be exact, that are placed one on top of the other. Triads are really easy to see on a staff because they line up with either all of the notes on lines or all of the notes on spaces. The bottom note of a triad is called the root. The middle note is called the third, because the interval between the middle note and the root is a third. The top note of the triad is called the fifth, because, you guessed it, it's an interval of a fifth from the top note to the root. Now, just like intervals with only two notes, triads can come in different types including major, minor, diminished, and augmented. How do we tell if a triad is one of these different types? We have to find the type of interval that makes up the third and the fifth of the triad. Let's take this triad for example. The interval from F to A is a major third, and the interval from F to C is a perfect fifth. A triad with a major third and a perfect fifth is called a major triad. Now, if we lower the third a half step, it's now a minor third, and the triad with a minor third and a perfect fifth is called a minor triad. If we also lower the fifth a half step, it's now a diminished fifth, and a triad with a minor third and a diminished fifth is called a diminished triad. One last example. If we go back to the major triad and raise the fifth a half step, it's now an augmented fifth, and a triad with a major third and an augmented fifth is called an augmented triad. Let's do another example. Here we have the B-flat major triad. If we lower the third a half step, we get a minor third, and the triad becomes the B-flat minor triad. If we also lower the fifth a half step, it's now a diminished fifth, and the triad becomes the B-flat diminished triad. If we go back to the major triad and raise the fifth a half step, it's now an augmented fifth, and the triad becomes the B-flat augmented triad. Now, triads aren't always written with the root as the lowest note. Sometimes composers want a different note of the triad as the lowest note. Since there are only three notes in a triad, there are only three options for the lowest note. First is the one we've already seen, where the root is the lowest note in the triad, and the third and fifth are stacked on top of it. Next, we could have the third as the lowest note in the triad. In this case, the third and fifth stay where they are, but we move the root from the lowest position to the top of the triad, like this. Notice that we're not changing the note name of the root. It's still the same note. We're just finding the next note with that same name above the third, so that the third will be the lowest note. See how that sounds different? It's the same notes, they're just in a different order. Having that different bass note gives the chord a different character. Next, we could have the fifth as the lowest note in the triad. In this case, the fifth stays where it is, and the root and the third move above it like this. Just like before, we're using the same notes, but above the fifth instead of below the fifth. See how that sounds different again? It's the same notes, they're just in another order. Having that different bass note again gives the chord a different character. When a triad's lowest note is not the root, it's called an inversion. When the third is in the bass, it's called first inversion. And when the fifth is in the bass, it's called second inversion. If the root is in the bass, it's called root position. We'll talk more about chord inversions when we get to harmonic analysis, but I hope this video helped you get more comfortable with triads and how to identify them. If you have any questions about triads or music theory in general, let me know in the comments below. Thank you to my patrons for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a patron, check out the Patreon link below. And if you want to watch more music theory videos, check out the playlist as well. Thanks for watching.